my dear students welcome back in this video we are going to discuss about the few important dimensional formulas regarding the heat concepts the physical quantities which are used in heat concepts for them we have to know the dimensional formula and units these dimension formulas are very important for competitive exams and children at the end of the video i will discuss about the previous year questions which are given in the neat and iit that's why watch the video till and without any skip clear now let's go to the topic here we have some quantities are there look here physical quantity formula dimension formula and units of the quantity the first thing here temperature so what is the temperature it is a property that can explains the hotness or coldness of your body that should be measured in terms of kelvin as it is what in terms of kelvin and dimension formula is we can write m to power of 0 l to power of 0 t to power of 0 and theta to the power of 1 it can be shown like theta to the power of 1 or m to power of 0 L to power of 0, T to power of 0 and K to the power of 1. It is also mentioned like that. Better to use theta. And now second one is what? Heat. What is mean by heat? Heat is nothing but energy. It is the form of energy. That's why the dimension formula of heat is same as energy. That is what? M L square T inverse 2. It is the dimension formula of heat. And units are Joule. Simply you can show capital J. And this is the second one. And now here third one. What is specific heat? Specific heat formula is S is equals to 1 by M into dQ by dt. Here what is M? Mass. What is Q? Heat energy. What is dt? Temperature. Change in temperature. That's why here dq is what energy for that energy what you write m l square t inverse 2 by mass capital m and change in temperature that is nothing but theta here then what it here m power of 1 minus 1 and l square t inverse 2 and theta inverse 1 so that means what simply m to 4 of 0 l square t inverse 2 theta inverse 1 here it is m it is there dimension is 1 if it is comes to numerator it becomes as minus 1 already here m1 is there like this here m to 4 of 1 and m to 4 of minus 1 when bases are equal we have to add the exponents that is what m to 4 of 0 so m to 4 of 0 l square t to 4 of minus 2 theta 2 minus 1 is the dimension formula of specific heat clear and according to this what is right here dq is energy for the unit is what joule and m is mass joule for kg and temperature kelvin so joule for kg kelvin so it can also known as joule kg inverse kelvin inverse 1 next one thermal capacity thermal capacity what is thermal capacity so here thermal capacity formula is there mass into specific heat mass into specific heat for mass what is dimension formula capital m and specific heat formula is what this one m to 4 of 0 l square t inverse 2 theta inverse 1 then obviously what you get here m l square t inverse 2 theta inverse 1 m to 4 of 1 plus 0 1 so there is a dimension formula of thermal capacity or water equivalent so here what is mass unit kg and specific unit is what joule by kg kelvin kg kg cancel what you get joule for kelvin is the unit for thermal capacity or water equivalent clear and next thing here latent heat what is the latent heat formula here l is equals to q by m l is equals to q by m what is q mass sorry what is q energy what is m mass q means what here energy ml square t inverse 2 by mass capital m 
So here what you get? M to 4 of 0 will get M to 4 of 0 L square T inverse 2 will get. Okay, that is the unit dynamics formula of latent heat. And its unit is what? Joule for kg. Joule for kg. So these are uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and we have some other quantities are there. Let's go for that. This one expansion coefficient or temperature coefficient of resistance. So linear expansion coefficient alpha L2 minus L1 by L1 into T2 minus T1. L2 minus L1 is what? Increase in length. L1 is what? Original length. So both are having the same dimension formula, they are going to be cancelled. Or you can write. L2 minus L1 also having dimension formula L for L1, L1 also length L and T2 minus T1 is K temperature then what you do here simply M to 4 of 0 L to 4 of 0 T to 4 of 0 and K inverse 1 clear that is the dimension formula of expansion coefficient and obviously here the unit is Kelvin inverse so if you can take same beta also same thing here a2 minus a1 by a1 of t2 minus t1 again same will get the same dimension formula and same units if you can take gamma also same thing v2 minus v1 by v1 of t2 minus t1 so alpha beta gamma have same dimension formula and same units and next one is entropy what is entropy formula heat energy for temperature heat energy for Temperature, heat energy dimension formula is what? M L square T inverse 2 by temperature is K. You can take K or theta, no problem, anything. So, if you want to write theta, then write no problem, theta. Then here are the same thing. Or we can write M to 4 of 0, L to 4 of 0, T to 4 of 0, theta inverse 1. As you wish. So, then what did here? M L square L square T inverse to theta inverse. So this is the damage formula of entropy. And now heat energy formula is joule for temperature Kelvin. Joule for Kelvin. Now this is the important one. Universal gas constant. Universal gas constant. Ideal gas equation is what? PV is equals to NRT. And here N is the number of moles. R is the constant. And T is temperature. V is the volume. And P is the pressure. From that what right R is equals to P V Y N T. What is P pressure? M L inverse 1 T inverse 2 is the dimension formula of pressure and volume L cube by N mole and temperature theta. Then what at here? M L inverse 1 L cube T inverse 2 mole inverse 1 and theta inverse so L inverse 1 L cube then what you get here M L square T inverse 2 mole inverse 1 and Kelvin or theta inverse 1 theta inverse 1 we can write theta inverse 1 clear this is the dimension formula of universal gas constant M L square T inverse 2 mole inverse 1 theta inverse 1 clear as usual units of that one is what here what right here kg meter square second inverse to mole inverse mole inverse kelvin inverse kelvin inverse or simply what right here joule for mole kelvin clear and now bolts constant bolts constant a is equals to r by n and it is also written as here PV is equals to NKBT. This also you can use PV is equals to NKBT. N is the Avogadro number, KB is the Bolts constant, T is the temperature, P is the pressure, and V is the volume. From the what right here, KB is equals to what right here? PV by NT we can write. PV by and we can write here pressure M elements 1. T inverse 2 volume L cube by N is I've got number it is number that's why it has no dimension formula and T means here theta or K theta or K then what are here obviously here M L inverse 1 L cube M L square 
t inverse 2 and theta inverse 1. So simply what read here? Joule Kelvin inverse R Joule for Kelvin. That is the unit for Boltzmann constant and dimension formula is what? ML square T inverse 2 theta inverse 1. See the next one. Thermal conductivity formula is K is equals to QD by A into theta 1 minus theta 2 into T. Q is the energy, D is the length or distance, A is the area and T is the temperature uh, time and theta 1 theta minus, minus 2 is temperature. Q is energy, D is distance, A is area of the block and T is the time, theta 1 minus theta 2 is temperature. So you have to write the dimension formula here. What is Q energy? M L square T inverse 2 into D means nothing but length L and area L square. Theta 1 minus theta 2 means what? Temperature and T is the time. Clear. Then what add here? M L cube and L to 4 of minus 2. L to 4 of minus 2 and T to 4 of minus 2 and T to 4 of minus 1 and theta inverse 1 then what did here m l t inverse 2 3 minus 2 minus 1 minus 3 m 3 minus 2 means what l l for 3 minus 2 means what l m l t inverse 3 theta inverse 1 so this is a dimension formula of coefficient of thermal conductivity or thermal conductivity and now here we can write the unit is here q by t nothing but work by time power so that's what I hear. Watt. D is the meter. Meter by meter square means what? Meter. So watt. Meter inverse. Kelvin inverse 1. Clear? That is the unit of thermal conductivity. And next is the next one. Thermal resistance. Thermal resistance. D by QA. D by QA. Here D is nothing but length. Area is the L square. Again, K is the thermal conductivity dimension formula. M, L, T inverse 3, theta inverse 1. From that, what did here? L square, L, L cube. So then what did here? M inverse 1, L cube, and is 1, L. So I do L, L inverse 3, and T inverse, T plus 3, theta, theta. So we are writing simply L by L square. So L by L square into L. L, L square L. L to the power of 3. And if it is comes in numerator, it becomes as minus 3. L to the power of 1, minus 3. So here what we get? Minus 2. Minus 2 we will get. So simply what is here? M inverse 1. L to the power of minus 2. T cube theta. So unit is what is here? Kz inverse 1. Second inverse 2. So, sorry, meter inverse 2, meter inverse 2, and a second cube and Kelvin. And next one here. So, thermal resistance is over now. Stefan's constant. What is Stefan's constant here? I'm going to write here Stefan's constant. What is Q? Energy. What is the Q? energy and a is what area t is what time capital d is the absolute temperature then what did here m l square t was 2 by area is l square and time capital t and this is what temperature theta to the power of 4 then what did here m l to the power of 0 t to the power of minus 3 and theta to the power of minus 4 theta to the power of minus 4. Clear. Q is what? Energy. ML square T inverse 2. A is what? Area. L square. T is the time. Capital T. Capital T is the here temperature. What did here? Theta inverse 4. That's why here simply what I now? Kg. Second inverse 3. And Kelvin inverse 4. Kelvin inverse 4. Clear. So again what did here? Q by T. Double is equal to Q. What? That's why here it is also written as now watt for meter square Kelvin to the power of 4. Kelvin to the power of 4. This is also unit of Stefan's constant. 
so this is what for Stefan's constant and next one is wind's constant so this is the formula of wind's constant so wind's constant what is lambda m to 2 lambda m into t so here lambda is wavelength that's why ordered here l and temperature is here now theta l theta so similar ordered here m to 4 of 0 l theta to power of 1 so this is the damage formula of winds constant winds constant so meter kelvin so now let's see now here Planck's constant e is equals to h nu then what add here i am going to add here only e is equals to h nu h is equals to what e by nu what is e energy ml square t inverse 2 by new frequency is what t inverse 1 t inverse 1 then obviously what here m l square t inverse 3 ml square t inverse 3 clear children h is the Planck's constant e is what energy energy formula is what is formula ml square t inverse 2 frequency frequency is what nu is equals to 1 by t that is what t inverse 1 t inverse 1 if this comes to the numerator here what you get here ml square t to the power of minus 2 and if this comes to numerator plus 1 plus 1 sorry so here ml square t inverse 2 and t to the power of 1 then what you get here m l square t inverse 1 that is the dimension formula of Planck's constraint clear so unit is what energy for frequency that is what Joule second inwards. Joule second inwards. See the question here. It was the given in the 2021 mains. The question should be like this. This question is related to the heat concept. In a typical combustion engine, the work done by a gas molecule is given. W is equals to alpha square into beta into e to power of minus beta x square by kt, where x is the displacement and k is the Boltzmann constant and t is the temperature if alpha and beta are constants the dimensions of alpha will be so it means what we have to find out the dimensions of alpha that is the question here what you was given expression w is equals to alpha square into beta into e to the power of minus beta x square by kt so what we know what it is in the form of exponents we have no dimension formula then what right alpha square is equals to what right w by beta now we want to find out the dimension formula of beta why because already we know that dimension formula work is what ml square t inverse 2 by and now this is the beta we have to find out it now so in that power we have beta x square by kt it has no dimensional formula that's why simply we are going to write m to power of 0, l to power of 0 and t to the power of 0 we can write. Clear. So after that, from that what you have to write, beta e means what you have to write, beta e is equals to here. We can write m to power of 0, l to power of 0, t to the power of 0 into here k into t by x square. What is given? k is the Boltz constant and t is the temperature it was given and x is the displacement. So here, while we are doing the combustion process, energy of the molecule, energy of the molecule in this can be taken as E is equals to 7 by 2, 7 by 2 kT, 7 by 2 kT. Here again, 7 by 2 is a number, T is the temperature and K is the Boltzmann constant. From that what K is equals to E by T we can write. What is E? Energy. ML square T inverse 2 into theta inverse 1 so already we have damage formula of k now it is there and substitute here beta is equals to now here it is and the thing is 0 or you can write m to 4 of 0 l to 4 of 0 t to 4 of 0 of k m l square t inverse 2 theta inverse 1 and t theta clear by x square by x square we have x means what l square then beta is equals what right here m l square l square l square l to the power of minus 2 so what do you get l to the power of 0 
and t inverse 2 and theta inverse 1 into theta that means what theta power of 0 we get, we get. then what is simply here m l to power of 0 t to power of minus 2 into theta to the power of 0 so now we have to substitute this value here alpha square is what or alpha is equals to w is what here alpha square is equals to w is what m l square t inverse 2 by beta value is what here simply what you have m t inverse 2 m t inverse 2 we have 0 will get m to 4 of 1 m to 4 of minus 1 will get and here l square and t to 4 of minus 2 t to 4 of minus 2 if it is comes in numerator plus b plus 2 that's what you here get 0 therefore alpha square is equals what right m to 4 of 0 l square t to 4 of 0 then here alpha means what right m to 4 of 0 l square t to 4 of 0 all to 4 of 1 by 2 that means what simply alpha is equals to l square all to 4 of 1 by 2 then what do you get l alpha is equals to l and it should be written as here m to 4 of 0 l t to 4 of 0 you see the dimension formula of l so among the four options option b is the correct one children see the next question it was given in 2013 mains match the following match the following column 1 with column 2 and select the correct answers using the quotes given below as the list so one side was given quantities one side was given dimension formulas of those quantities we have to match them just now only we discussed all these things here what are the physical quantities a boltzmann constant b coefficient of viscosity c planck's constant and d thermal conductivity just now only we have discussed all these things except this one so what is coefficient of viscosity nita is equals to f by a by delta v by delta x here what is nita coefficient of viscosity f by a means what pressure so m l inverse 1 t inverse 2 by delta v velocity lt inverse 1 by delta x is l then what you get here m l inverse 1 t inverse 2 by t inverse 1 it means that what right here m l inverse 1 t inverse 2 and t to the power of 1 then m l inverse 1 t inverse 1 that is the dimension formula of coefficient of viscosity except this the remaining all already we discussed in this video only so here b b can be matching with what s q and uh, already we know that boltzmann constant boltzmann constant is always what this one s m l square t inverse 2 k inverse 1 and planck's constant c c can be matching to the s m l square t inverse 1 clear and obviously here now thermal conductivity is r so therefore the match following is what a boltzmann constant what a s and b b can match with what coefficient of viscosity q and c can be matched with planck's constant p and thermal conductivity d can be matched with what R. So in this way, in the options, what we have like this, that is the right one. So Boltzmann constant is S, coefficient of viscosity is what it is Q, and Planck's constant is what ml square d minus one, and thermal conductivity is what this one. Clear? See the next question. It was given in 2019 NEET. Very simple question. What we discussed like that only. The unit of thermal conductivity is. Options are given watt meter inverse kelvin inverse joule meter kelvin inverse joule meter inverse kelvin inverse watt meter kelvin inverse so thermal conductivity units are watt so what is the formula k is equals to q into d by a into theta 1 minus theta 2 into t i am simply i am going to write here q by t into d by a of theta 1 minus theta 2 into t here q by t nothing but what power so that is what and d is what meter a is what meter square and t is here uh, sorry theta 1 minus theta 1 minus theta 2 is what here kelvin q 
क्यू बाई टी इज नथिंग बट जॉल फॉर सेकेंड इट इज ऑल्सो कॉल एज वाट क्लियर सो जॉल फॉर सेकेंड वाट डी मीटर ए मीटर स्क्वेयर एंड थी डबल माइनस थी डबल वाट थी डबल माइनस थी फॉर वाट के दैट्स वाट एट हियर डबल यू हियर मीटर स्क्वेयर कैंसिल डबल बाई मीटर केलविन दैट मीन्स वाट डबल यू मीटर इनवर्स केलविन इनवर्स डबल यू मीटर इनवर्स केलविन इनवर्स दिस इज द यूनिट वाट मीटर इनवर्स केलविन इनवर्स सो ऑप्शन ए इज द राइट आंसर If you want to get the more videos from my channel and my app please sub support me subscribe my channel and download my app too thank you